So here I have to work on this differential equation, okay? And uh, first we have to do is, uh, you know, talk about the equilibrium solutions. So we have y square minus y minus 20 sine square inverse y over 9. So I'll make sure to write that down on uh, the piece of uh, paper so that I don't make a mistake again the way I did last time. Okay, so here we go. All right, so we got what? We got, and again, I am increasing the font size, but you don't have to. Uh, so dy dt, and don't put too small a font size for me either, okay? So y square minus, <coughs> excuse me, so minus y minus 20, right? And then we have sine inverse y over 9, All right, okay? And uh, now, so you can see this here. The domain of sine inverse y over 9 is neg from negative uh, 9 to 9 because the uh, domain of inverse sine, the way we take it, is uh, uh, from negative 1 to 1, okay? So this becomes uh, y minus 5 times what? y plus uh, 4 times uh, sine, excuse me sine inverse y over 9. So who are the equilibrium solutions then? The equilibrium solutions will be given by the quantities that make this equal to 0. So they are y equals 5, uh, y equals negative 4, and y equals 0. So let's uh, go back to our uh, question, okay, so the question uh, was uh, what? The question was uh, um, which one is not an equilibrium solution, right? So what was it? Uh, y equals 4 is not, right? Because if you recall, y equals negative 4 is equilibrium solution. And now we have to go over which ones are asymptotically stable and unstable. So what we would do is that, uh, let's look at the intervals, negative nine, negative four, okay? And uh, then negative four, zero, okay? And uh, then negative four to five, sorry, zero to five, and uh, then, and, and you don't have to write all this. I mean, here I'm writing and I'm losing my own time here. So anyways, so, you know, a way you can do this is this. Like if you took, a, say, six here, uh, you would find that all these three factors are positive. So it is positive here. So that means that the, uh, uh, that the function will be, uh, an increasing function here, that is dy dt will be increasing uh, between zero and five, let's put one here. So this is negative, positive, negative. So that will be decreasing. I can't find slant arrow in here, but that, that's good enough, okay? And here negative four zero, let's take negative one. What does that give us? Uh, that gives us negative, positive, negative. That gives us a positive. And here, you know, negative nine, negative four, let's take say negative five. So negative, negative, negative is negative, okay? So what happens uh, here is, so that uh, here on from, neg you know, on negative nine to negative four for y, the function is a decreasing function and then it, goes on increasing and I can't draw in here. So you can draw and see that at negative four, uh, it is unstable, okay? And then here, it will be coming 
close towards the line y equals 0 as you are around 0. So at 0 it is a stable okay and at uh, 5 again it is unstable all right okay. So what our answer to the next part will be uh, it says which one is uh, an asymptotically stable solution that is uh, y equals 0 right and then it asks you to do this that if y0 is uh, negative uh, 1 okay then we have to write the slope of this uh, the solution of the initial value problem. So of course here the answer is written and we just have to substitute that is y at 0 is negative uh, 1 all right okay and that we have to do at t equals uh, 0. So what all that we have to do is substitute y equals negative 1 in here right okay. So let's uh, do that and we can use our calculator to do that okay that is uh, we got uh, negative 1 is square is 1 then negative negative 1 is positive 1 then we got uh, negative 20 and we have to make sure that we are in the radian mode are we yes we are okay so then we got uh, what we got we got uh, sine inverse uh, negative 1 over 9 right so negative 1 over 9 okay so let's see what we get here oops what mistake did I make? Oh man. Okay, so I got 1 plus 1 minus 20. That's correct. Oh, I think I made a mistake here. Uh, okay, so see, I'm losing my own time. So I better run fast. Okay, and now just too fast. Okay, all right, let me see. Oh, this becomes too fast. Okay, now we are good. Okay, so okay, again an error. So why are we get? Oh, I see. I now here I put the other negative sign. Can't believe I did it. Okay, and that's what happens when you get nervous on a test, right? Okay. All right, so it's 2.0041, right? So that's 2.0041. And uh, then what it says is that which of these is a solution. So there are four of them. This one has a negative slope at t equals 0. So that is out, okay? And uh, so, and the slope is about 2. And you can check that this black graph is the only one that has a slope of about 2, which is labeled as B. So B is my answer, right? Okay, so I'll just go ahead and save it. Okay, so that part is saved. This is saved and this is also saved. And I'll just go ahead and accept my work here. Okay, and if I'm writing on pencil, then you can see this here, say I'm not typing, I'm writing on pencil, okay? Then what I can do is that I can take, a, a, I would suggest just get a, you know, get a scanner on your uh, uh, tablet or whatever phone you are using. So if you get a scanner, just go ahead and attach a scanned copy of your work, all right? So yeah, that's how I would do that part.